Everybody, how are you? <laughs> it's 5.55 a.m. Sun's already up in Wordsborough. I've been up since 5 o'clock. Got re ready in record time. Because today... Excuse me. Because today... I want to walk from Failsworth to Manchester. Right, everyone. We're making our way over the... Uh, Moors Road, the Isle of Sky Road, a haunted road. So this area, um, it's most recent firm, I suppose you could call it that. Um, this is the place where the Moors murderers buried the victims, or where most of them were retrieved. There is one left, Keith. Nobody will probably ever find him, which is a real shame. His mother. Winnie, she passed away not knowing where her son were buried. But this road um, is the old road that connects Oldham to Home Firth and beyond. It's actually a road that has a very, very high fatality rate, which I think is pretty apparent when you look at it. There's no banking, well there is banking, into ditches, there's nothing to stop me from going off the road really, um, and people do drive at ridiculous speeds on here, you know like, I mean I was just doing 50 then, which I think is about the average, um, and a bloke just overtook me doing about 70 or 80, and the, the roads are dead narrow, it's country roads basically, but you know, I suppose it's all right as long as no one has an head to head, but there you go. So I don't know if you can see, but the rain's coming down. However, we are very high up and I believe that in Oldham and Manchester, it's not raining. So hopefully it's not raining because I can't do the walk. Um, if it is, I have brought an umbrella. I think this is basically just cloud. You can see the fog with it, but Anyway, I'm going to get back to it, and uh, yeah, I suppose I'll see you in Failsworth, unless, Jesus, do you see that? See what I mean? Uh, yeah, unless we see something interesting that I have to film for you. Right, everyone, we've just been in Tesco's. I've just got myself a butty for my breakfast because I've not been able to eat. And I wanted to let you know where this Tesco stands. This is where Ace Elise used to be. The big manufacturing business. Loads of people in Oldham used to work here. And it actually <coughs> it's uh, it actually used to look like an old town hall. I'll put a picture in if I can find it because it's absolutely beautiful. But this is where it used to stand all them years ago. Right, I'm a little bit behind schedule because I think it's probably about five to seven. So got to get to Failsworth, pack up at the church, and then let's just get walking, see what we can see, everyone. Right, everybody, we're in Failsworth. I've got my bag. I've got everything that I need. And this grave here, you see, all of this, I think, will have, had, will have graves under it. They've just done what they've done with Oldham Church and flattened and mostly everything. But they can't flatten this. So we're going to have a look at this when we get back. I've not got time now. It's quarter past seven, that clock works and I've parked over in the church. I can't see any problem from a park in there. So this GB security systems across the road, I'm sure it used to be called the Pack Horse. It's an old, 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 old pub. I think it's, well, you can see it's ancient anywhere, but I think it's a good 200 year old. And you see Ivor Mill down there, that's where I used to work. I had offices in there and uh, that mill was used during the world, Second World War to manufacture planes in Oldham um, and it was also visited by the king at the time. Anyway, we'll, uh, I'll come back once we get down to the bottom and I'll uh, talk you through a few bits and pieces as we see it. 
Like Here's an interesting sight for you, everybody. This Prima, Prima Pizza. If you look here, there's a sign above the birthplace of Ben Briley. Wrote loads of stories around or about various places, including Daisynook, which are called Water. No, we called it Daisynook. It used to be called, its official name is Water Houses, but he called it Daisynook and in the book. Daisy Nuke in the book and then it became Daisy Nuke because of that. So this bridge that we're walking over, quite an old bridge, I think this is probably about 200 years old, the stone part. That used to be like gaps up there, look at it, it's all derelict now. But that building, a good 200 years old as well. But this is called Wormsley Bridge and uh, just down at, near the traffic lights at the bottom, down there, there's uh, an old manor house and that's where the Wormsleys used to live for many years. <coughs> I think they had something to do with that place as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, this is the library by the way, built by Carnegie, Carnegie Hall, New York. He was a Scotsman, went over to New York and uh, made the equivalent of billions and then decided he was going to give a load of money back to this country. <coughs> to build a load of libraries. So you'll see Carnegie Library in a lot of places. Bloody hell everybody, these uh, houses have sprung up. White Kirk Drive it's called, it's just over from Merrin Fall. Um, it's the road, I can't remember what it's called now, the road. Uh, just at back of Tesco, leads out onto Oldham Road near the uh, co-op place, but yeah. This was, um, I'm sure it was Wasteland. Was there a mill here before? I've got a feeling there was a mill here before. In fact, I'm fairly confident. Did it not burn down? I don't know. Anyway, there's the Merrim Fall. It looks like it's still open. Beautiful windows. I was just thinking, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk the whole way to Manchester in the time that I've got. But I think what I'll do is just keep on going till about half past eight. I've got to be at the office and I've still got to find it yet. Uh, 111 Piccadilly. I've got an idea where it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to uh, find that. So I think I'll give it till half past eight. We'll see what we can see. And then... Uh, I'll have to jump a bus, I suppose, unless I'm close to town. So, I'll see you in a minute. Everyone, look where I am. Look at these cottages, I've never seen them before in my life. They're absolutely beautiful, look at how gorgeous they are. Wow. Never seen these before. One Croft Cottage, 1791. Jesus, it's amazing what you see when you're walking around everyone. Honestly, I've never seen them ever before. I've walked past here many times. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to film here because around this corner, on the side of Domino's, is Co-op Funeral Care. And before Co-op Funeral Care stood there, there was a, there was a, a pub. I think it was called the Black Horse think something like that anyway I'm sure with the black horse actually and um, it was haunted and basically sometimes a cavalier so a fella dressed up in like stuff from like the 1600s he'd just come walking through the door and many people saw him walking through and it just bla blazing through the door, walk straight, purposeful, and then straight through the wall at the back. Loads of people saw it, including people having drinks in there. Absolutely amazing. Bethel schools. <coughs> right, let's get down bottom. I've got something to show you at the crossing. This is a lovely building, everybody. If you look in that window there, this camera doesn't zoom. It looks like there's a load of panels or... 
very Art Deco and it's designed over the door. So we're coming down now to the junction of Oldham Road or Manchester Road, Oldham Road this um, and Broadway so across the way though if we had time we'd stop and go and have a look because I meant to look around this church a few times so you've got the church on the corner you've got the cadets behind it and just in front you've got a really old directional sign showing New Moston, Tennant and Royton one way <coughs> and Manchester the other now the reason why I'm filming down here aside from this really old shop front here that we're looking at right here at this crossroads they installed in the 1800s they installed a, a toll so if you were traveling up by cart horse and cart it would have been at the time from Manchester to get into the vicinity of Oldham across this barrier because we're counting in Manchester now um, you had to pay a toll fee and this pub in fact it's not this one it's the next one down the way that you can see in the distance with the blue when we get there I'm going to tell you a little bit of a quick story of what happened there many many years ago Look at these tiles everyone, stunning. Look at the beautiful building. And that old sign there, look, sign holder. We're gonna have a look at a few pubs on the way down. There's quite a few that have been abandoned and just left to rot. We're also getting down to an area very shortly where there's some old clubs from the 80s, which I'll point out. I think one of them now has been flattened, the Thunderdome. I think some of it is a little bit of it's left so we'll have a look at that and also a few other bits and pieces but we're getting into the good bit now everybody so it's uh, 7 38 which means I've got 50 minutes of walking left before I forced to jump on a bus so let's see how far we can get so back in the early 1820s there was a woman called Sarah McClellan I've done a video on her she basically took a trip from Bolton to Oldham she walked in clogs to go to her daughter's she was impoverished, she had no um, no food in her stomach no drink, she was walking with a cloak on when she borrowed off her neighbour she was skint and she was making her way to her daughter's I imagine maybe to get some money or I don't know, get some help she was only in her late 40s, early 50s but she looked old anyway I'm not going to go into the story on here too much but she came to a terrible end in Failsworth if you go back on the channel you'll see the story but this pub here she actually stopped here for some help and she asked for a drink she also asked for a drink in Failsworth maybe she didn't get one here I don't know but I know there was a man that was drinking in here and he took pity on her and he walked her all the way to Failsworth before he had to divert he said she was a nice old lady um, but she came to a bad end this pub is now closed it looks like it's been turned into flats last time I came here it was open for drinks it's a Boddington's oh there you go it's a Boddington's everybody look at this old them old um, seats benches Right then, let's keep going everybody. Wow everyone, look at that beautiful glass. Original. Wow, looks like when they've had the windows done. They've saved it. Looks like a bullet hole there in that one.
another old pub there with the innkeeper's cottage on the side. Unfortunately, I don't know what this pub used to be called. Look at this old shop. Woods upholstery. Three piece suites. Direct to the public. Recovers and pairs undertaker. Look at this old lace. And look at these houses, everybody. You know, I was just thinking, I don't think I'd like to live on Manchester Road. It's just far too busy 24 hours a day. But just look at some of these. I mean, they're gorgeous. City of Manchester. Maybe we're still in Oldham then up until now. Might have got that one wrong, everybody, clearly. <laughs> we're now entering Manchester itself. Look at that beautiful glass above the door. So, yeah, we're making our way down now at these crossroads down here. There used to be an old bar. I never ever went in, but I think they called it the Amber Lounge. And I'm sure it was called something before that, but I can't. I can't think, everyone. If you know, let me know. But what they've done now, it looks like they've converted that into some sort of flat as well. But here's the attractions, Bridgewater Hall. You know, the Bridgewater Hall, when it was launched, I remember it's a fairly new building. If it's the one I'm thinking of. And it's built on acoustic, all about the acoustics because they obviously play music in there. And I'm sure there's something weird about the foundations that they did. I've not really got the facts, have I, everybody? But if you know, let me know. Look at him! Oh. Yeah, here it is, everyone. At the crossroads. I'm sure it used to be like <coughs> a place you could go and listen to like reggae and what have you. But there's no sign of it these days. I don't know what it was originally. On the corner of Longdale Street. No idea what it was originally, obviously. It's a good few hundred years old. That building there with the white front. Not this one. That one. Right, everyone, we're just coming up to Newton Heath. Or where you can turn left to Newton Heath. In the distance there, there's an old bag that I want to show you. Here, up until recently, there was an old, oh look, Newton sink, Silk Mill, 1832. It's nearly 200 years old, that, everybody. Yeah, but here, I'm pretty sure it was, a, I think my mum said it was a co-op. More recent times, it was a sex shop. Um, for many, many years, you know, like where fellas are sneaking. <laughs> that type of shop, not like an Ann Summers or anything. This was like, you know, the real deal. Um, but yeah, they flattened it and uh, now they're building some more apartments, probably. Yeah, here was the sex shop, sorry. And this is the remainder of the building here. Right, we need to get uh, down to this corner. Look at that everybody above that news agent. That's an old sign that. Look, fresh fruit and veg, general grocers, cooked meats, cheeses, etc. That's a very old sign. It looks like something's fallen off above it. They've just not bothered to remove it, but that's fabulous. And we're crossing over because we're going, I'm going to look at this side of the road now. I want to stop at that church. Quick look round that. Um, and I'm going to keep walking because I reckon I can get to Manchester in an hour. Look at this, everybody. Look at this. The Redeemed Christian Church of God, Strong Tower Church, loving people, changing lives, affecting the community. 
This is a beautiful church and it says on the front here, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his, into his courts with praise. Interesting. Can we get in? I don't think there's any graveyards, everybody. I can't see any stones. We've locked the bleeding church. Never heard anything so ridiculous in your entire life. They've locked the church so you can't go in. That's crackers, isn't it? Never known of a church to lock its gates before. Mind you, you don't know if people are going in there trying to do bad things, I suppose. Another old abandoned pub here, everybody. Let's see if we can see the name on the front of it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep on walking. It's on the bus. I think I can make it. Look at this. Now, this is gorgeous. I know it looks knackered, and, but just check out the front of it. Them beautiful brown tiles. It's called the Copenhagen. Looked like there was a... Oh my God, look at that, everybody. Copenhagen Tavern. Fox Breweries. It says on that sign up there. Stunning, isn't it? Look at that, everybody. Another sign there that we can't read because it's been removed, unfortunately, but I love these tiles. Massive as well, look at it. Right, let's keep on going. There's an old shop here. I don't I think it looks like a funeral parlour, but I'm sure it sells like... Oh, no, this is it. Julie's own brew. Here. And then I think this is a funeral home. It's looked like this for years. There's no signage. Just these beautiful flowers and the blinds closed. I think this is an old funeral home. What does the sign say? Can't read it. So Everyone, funeral. look at this strange woodland here. We're just here on Olden Road. You've got wild berries growing. Some of them are ripe as well. I don't think I bother eating them though. And then you've got this. Look at this. Just dumped. I'm going to have to be careful because it could be rats or anything. Look at the state of that. And then this, it's just completely unkempt. But that's amazing. <laughs> just growing out the ground. Oh wow, everybody, there's a beautiful detail on this building. Can you see it? The lion's heads. Wow, look at this old door. Oh my God, that's completely original. Look how beautiful it is. The door frame anyway, with the lion's heads. And then this gorgeous door for, look at that, number 755. I wonder what it's like inside. I bet it's all original, everyone. And it's St. Anne's Terrace. Look, more lions up there. God, they're gorgeous. And there. Lovely. Right. We're here. We're almost coming down to where the playhouse used to be. Look at this abandoned place, everybody. There's an old car there, just parked up. An old window, and it's in the arches. Is this is where the playhouse stood. Now the playhouse was a beautiful building. 
um, I never went in because the one they did, they flattened it, I believe, in the 90s. But I remember driving past it. I don't know if you got the bus to <coughs> Manchester or whatever. And you used to be able to see it and it was absolutely beautiful. It wasn't as old as you think. I think it was only built in the late to mid 1800s from what I can remember when I read about it. Um, but basically the building just went into disarray. They just let it go and they flattened it. And it used to stand on this corner here where that bus has just turned left. And I don't know why they would have let it go. I mean, this is what they do. And there's nothing there now, I don't think. It's just barren wasteland or, you know, nothing. There we go, everybody. Let's round the corner together. There you go. Nothing. Just an empty site. But there is a plaque down there. So I wonder if that's marking where it used to be. Oh, everyone, it's to a policeman. <coughs> PFL PC Raja Bashar Ahmed 31st of August 1999 The Police Memorial Trust There's a scan code there but I've not got time to try and scan it But we'll find out who he was and what happened to him and I'll put it in I'm sure this is Miles Platin now everybody And just in the distance there you can see Manchester City Centre now, oh wow. Right everyone, what I do here, I'm just editing this up. What I say here is that this was the Thunderdome, but it wasn't, the Thunderdome was further down, um, just before the car wash, we do walk past. I thought this was it, um, but it definitely isn't. So what is this place? Do you remember it? Do you remember it being opened? I mean, if we look at it now, um, look at this massive pool. <laughs> Imagine you get you get splashed with that, won't you look at it? Um, but when we turn around and look at it in a minute, it looks like, well, it's obviously some sort of warehouse, I'm assuming, or, you know, some manufacturing. Crooks and Queens, look at that. So I don't know what this is. Anyone know? Let me know. So this is our first official glimpse of Manchester. All the buildings in the distance. This is Ancoats as well. So we're pretty much there now. I've managed to do it. We're gonna go past the wing yip. And uh, I wanna show you a beautiful building that I saw. I was in Manchester last week or the week before. I had to come and see somebody. Uh, work related and uh, I didn't have my camera with me and I saw this building and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I've got my camera today and uh, yeah, you know that BNC motorcycles? It's been there for donkey's years. That was there in the 90s. My ex used to go to it for like bikes. I think I might be, but right, it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm gonna be late. <sighs> in the distance, right in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, there's a green and white building. And that's the one that I wanna talk, well, well, I wanna show you. Um, trying to sort of move on a little bit now though, because I need to make sure um, I'm in work ASAP. And actually, I'm hungry now. I set off this morning, as you know, at 10 to 6 or whatever it were. And uh, I had no breakfast. I've not even had the apple cider vinegar, which I'm fuming about uh, because I forgot. But there you go. Um, let's see what managed to, we'll have to find this bleeding 111 Piccadilly. I don't even know where it is yet. So, everybody, here on the corner, we're just entering Ancoats now. This used to be the, the Bill White building used to be the Bank of Pakistan and here 
is that beautiful green building. Can you see the detail? Look at that gorgeous window right down the side of it. And the beautiful green Art Deco tiles. I think it's absolutely beautiful, everyone. Right, let's get through here. I think I might be, right, it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm gonna be late. Here everyone, let's get a closer look at this window. So at the top of it there, you've got like birds flying in like clouds. Then you've got some sort of like feather motif and then this checkered floor. I think it's got, someone's even, look what they've done. They've drawn on it. Disgusting. I think that's gorgeous. Right, let's get down here. Look at these beautiful buildings, everybody. Oh, look at this old pub. Gulliver's. Oh, it's still open. Leonard's. Old department store, maybe. And there's another one, this white one down here looks spectacular, but look at Leonard's. Are these beautiful everybody I'll come out and do some on me I'll do some filming on my dinner I need to just get to where I'm going now everybody I'm just making my way back to Victoria now to jump the tram that's the tram I want but going in the other direction but I, I was walking past this post box and I thought I'd show it you so probably thinking yeah you've always shown us post boxes this one's from Victoria but this is uh, the one that was shown in the IRA bomb that went off uh, the Manchester bombing and there's actually I didn't see this I just knew it uh, there's a part that it says this post but remains standing almost undamaged on June the 15th 1996 when the area was devastated by a tomb the box was removed during the rebuild of the city centre and was returned to its original site on November 22nd 1919 so yeah and it's from Victoria her reign so a very old pillar box and this I'm sure there was another bridge here which was devastated at the time but all of this area was blasted out and in fact during uh, during that time I lived in West Gorton and uh, I remember I woke up to like a start like I'd heard a big massive bang there was nothing in the house but obviously that's what it was and then when I got up and turned on the news it actually woke me up that's how loud it was but there you go, and let me just tell you, I don't know what's going on, but it, being in Manchester is horrific. Everybody's got those puffers, you've got all that disgusting vapes going in your face. But that aside, it's just like being on the streets of London where everyone's just pushing past you, it's really strange. But it is what it is, I suppose. So, that's it, get on this frigging tram and then um, get myself on. So thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next one.